Hey, what's up? Tim Sykes here. Um, got a special treat for you today. I'm actually going to build a watch list live on video. Um, I was giving challenge students a webinar last night and the video was a little blurry. So I was like, hey, screw it. Let me make a whole video lesson so that you can see exactly how I create a watch list every single day. Um, so we'll go over that in a second, but I am proud uh, to announce that my uh, Trader and Investor Summit, the 10th annual conference, is now finally on sale, early bird pricing. Um, if you click the link just below this video, or if you go to TraderAndInvestorSummit.com, we literally just released this last night. Um, it's pretty crazy where you can save 70% plus. Um, it's going to be September 29th through October 1st in Orlando. We sold half of the tickets in like 12 hours. I haven't even checked. Um, I'm here in, in Italy for the next few days. Um, so I went to sleep and literally half of them were sold out before I went to bed. I'm kind of scared to look at what it at, uh, what it's at right now, but just be warned. Okay. This will sell out and the early bird tickets will sell out quickly. So don't blame me. I've been warning you to be ready for this. Um, it's kind of crazy how fast we're growing. This is the 10th annual conference. So click the link just below, uh, save 70% plus, and I'm excited to see a lot of you guys, but let's talk about stocks for a second. Um, because Bitcoin is back. It's actually pretty amazing. It's been several months since we've seen any kind of momentum. Um, SRAX is the play that I am long overnight because frankly, I think it's the best uh, breakout chart of the bunch. Uh, we also have DPW, which I considered buying, but it's, it's a long way off of its highs. But you can see this little green blip. I mean, this is a solid, solid little bounce. Mara was also there, um, but it's actually... For those of you who are wondering, like, why did Mara dip at the end? Um, you have to look at the days. Like, this is the third green day on Mara. This is not a first green day pattern. I like buying first green days. So SRAX, uh, you know, it was red the previous day. Now we have a solid green day. That is what I like. Also, if you look at GBTC, one sec. The Wi-Fi is going in and out. There we go. Uh, GBTC, you know, second green day. Uh, what was the other one? DPW. Oh, MGTI, which I also traded, had a solid first green day, but it bounced off resistance, long-term resistance at one, and it bounced off that key level twice. So I'm only long SRAX overnight. Um, but let me, you know, actually do this watch list live so that you can see what I do every single night. Again, I'll post the link to this conference just below this video. Um, but when I first start building a watch list, every single night, I look at the previous day's watch list. So this was posted uh, yesterday. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to basically copy and paste the intro um, because, you know, it's the same intro. Like I give directions on, on some basic guides and stuff like that. But I copy and paste it and then I'm just going to adapt it with new plays. And the interesting thing is sometimes something will happen where it's an entire new batch of plays. And that's what's happened in the past day because Bitcoin has bounced. Let me first uh, show this link so that you guys can get it. Uh, Pre-sale is now live on my annual conference. Grab the 70% plus off savings now. Don't delay. Seriously, guys, I, you know is now live here. Please do not be emailing me next week being like, I didn't know about it. I didn't know about it. I've told you so many times to be ready. Um, it's kind of crazy to be real in an industry full of scams. So please do take advantage of it. I'm going to post two links on my watch list. And you know, those of you who watch this video, all you have to do is go to traderinvestorsummit.com and lock it in. Um, it's $297 for three days. So basically a hundred dollars a day, we don't make any money on it. I think we actually lose some. And we also have discounted hotel um, stuff if you want. Uh, but I actually made about $3,000. So I changed this every day based on what I did. Uh, and students made about 72,000. I added up a, a whole bunch of people. Um, but I said, be extra careful trading right now. I'm seeing a lot of quick morning spikes followed by serious fades. Don't get caught and only look to dip by morning panic. So this turned out to be wrong. Um, I did not know that Bitcoin was going to be coming back. Um, so I'm going to delete that. So now I'm going to talk about the Bitcoin plays that I see, the way that I found them, big percent gainers. Always look at big percent gainers every day. So MGTI, DPW, Mara, SRAX, uh, 
uh, what was the other one? BTCS. If you start trading these stocks, you kind of know like the usual suspects. BTCS and BTSC are two Bitcoin stocks also. So I'm going to put them on the list. Uh, what was another Bitcoin? Oh, GBTC. There's so many of them. I mean, you could say like NETE, NXTD, OHGI. Um, if you start studying these stocks, you see that the same kinds of low price stocks spike again and again. Here's NETE, kind of weak breakout. NXTD was a little better. OHGI, bear with me. There's the Wi-Fi. Um, OHGI had a little spike. So I simply bought and held the strongest of the bunch. Um, some people like to buy like the laggards, but in my experience, if a whole industry is shifting, um, you know, you want to buy the strongest. And SRAX actually had a pretty strong uh, chart even before this Bitcoin play. So I'm in, in the 550s, high 550s. It's already in the 580s um, after hours. It closed nicely. It closed strongly. It was up after hours. There should be some resistance here uh, going back to late 2017, early 2018 in the 620s. So that would be my goal. If I can buy a stock in the 550s and sell in the 620s and make 10% plus overnight, I will do that every single time. This is not a huge, huge uh, kind of potential move, but it is pretty reliable. First green day. So I will say, are all the Bitcoin plays I'm watching right now as the sector is finally heating up again? Um, strong first green day pattern on all of these. I bought and sold MGTI because it double topped late day at a dollar a share, but held on to SRAX overnight since it closed strongly and is also a multi month breakout. So this is how I judge stocks. You know, like I don't want a stock hitting resistance and then failing twice. I, I planned on holding MGTI, but I'm not just going to give it endless amounts of time. I'm probably playing it safe. Um, most likely Bitcoin will go up overnight and MGTI will maybe go back to a dollar, but I'd rather just play it safe than rather than be sorry. And when I have two plays, I'd rather have one play. It's tough for me to take two positions at any one time. Uh, the others... I'm watching. I probably, as I probably could have bought any of them. I just chose two because that's my limit for number of positions. And also, MGTI had a nice afternoon press release. DPW I probably should have also bought for the gap up possible morning spike. Mara, a lot of people seem to have bought, but it's a third green day pattern. So I'm not sure what you guys are doing since I always warn that third green day patterns are tough. Unless you're colorblind and didn't realize the difference between a green and red day. And if that's true, then be careful as I have no idea how to teach colorblind people. Um, also, FUSZ was one that I made nearly two grand on yesterday. Um, this was the same kind of a thing where I've been waiting months um, this was one of the strongest stocks just a few months ago. Amazing pump. Good job, promoters. And then I don't know if the promoters, you know, got all coked up and they're in rehab or if they're drunk or if they're dead um, or, you know, they're just getting investigated. But no matter what, like this stock has failed to bounce so many times, although now it looks like it's finally finding a bottom here in the 50s and 60s. Uh, and yesterday they put out a nice press release saying that they're going to have an investor update two days from now. Um, I did a whole video lesson on that that you guys should watch 
when a company announces an investor update two days from now, they're trying to hype themselves up into the event and then the event itself is gonna hype themselves up. No investor update is ever honest. They're always going to say the best stuff possible, like, oh, we're beautiful, we're amazing, oh, everything's great. The question is, will they actually announce anything meaningful? Um, supposedly, they're working with Oracle. Can they actually issue a press release? Will Oracle be mentioned? Will Oracle be quoted? Is there a new pump that is being planned? I don't know. Um, I specifically did not wanna hold it you know, through the actual event because more times than not, especially on blatant pumps like this, they will disappoint. Um, but I don't mind buying the rumor, uh, you know, where all the promoters, if you just look on Twitter, you know, all the promoters are back on FUSZ and they're all like, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, this chart is the opposite of amazing, but I guess if, if you, you know, if you're dyslexic and you know, you look at things backwards, maybe if you look at this chart upside down, then it's amazing. I can't help dyslexic people or colorblind people. You have to understand what a good chart is and you have to be able to see what red or green is. But anyways, FUSZ, I made nearly 2K on yesterday as they finally announced an upcoming investor update, which means they are going to hype themselves up. So hopefully they have some promoters on board again so the stock doesn't waste their once upon a time supernova price action chart that has long since turned into a nightmare when the prom promo emails stopped being sent come on FUSC promoters Get back in the game, please. I would not hold through the investor update as they'll likely disappoint, but it could run some more going into the event. And if they actually announce anything with Oracle, this can bounce nicely, so. I'll be watching closely for a potential rebuy. So I'm looking at the Bitcoin plays. I'm looking at this stock that, you know, frankly, I've been watching for months. Um, these are my main plays. I'm looking, you know, I have my other stocks here on my watch list from just recent percent winners like STAF, SNES, BIOC. But all of these stocks are, are pretty down. Um, I'll watch them just in case they put out some news. Uh, what's another one? BIOC, IZEA. Uh, Pixie has gotten crushed. Uh, I mean, all of these, CLRB, CODA. I'll put them all as potential dip buys. CLRB, CODA, and uh, what was the other one? Oh, the other one was I guess, I mean, CEI really just failed. I don't like buying stocks that spike and then lose all of their gains. I would rather them spike and lose some of their gains and then they just have to, you know, be within shooting distance of their highs. Um, if you look at here, which is what every penny stock aims to be, you know, you see how this stock had big spikes and then it consolidated a little bit, but it was within shooting distance of its highs. And this thing just keeps uptrending. Anyways, I'll put these on my watch list just in case, but most likely I won't trade them. Our potential rebuys, if they can show better signs of bottoming, and ideally some news to re-spike the stocks. Um, otherwise, they're weak, 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 weak. And I don't look to buy just any random weak stocks, no matter how much they have recently spiked. So I'm basically looking at strong stocks. I'm looking at recently strong stocks. I'm looking to see which ones can bounce, which ones can continue. Um, I have, you know, like I said, just one position overnight, SRAX. I made like a thousand bucks on MGTI yesterday. I made like 2000 on FUSZ. So as you can see, my Wi-Fi is not even great and I can still make three grand. Um, didn't time 
MGTI perfectly or FUSD perfectly, but I took the meat of the move on both. And now I'm pretty confident on SRAX. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 stocks to watch, which is a lot, you know? I mean, I wish there weren't so many main Bitcoin plays and there's more, I too. I, I just know like these are the ones that I've traded. Um, after you trade for a while, you'll start to feel more comfortable with certain stocks. So these are the 16 stocks I'm watching, although I'm really just mainly watching my, my main play, SRAX, and then probably these other three also. And then I'll, I'll keep a, you know, one eye peeled for FUSD. But let me um, send this, and also I'll put the link just below this video again. Please take advantage of this early bird discount. Um, and don't make fun of me for being fat. I'm in Italy. I'm enjoying the, the raviolis and the pasta. Ciao.